the Philippines um, in late December decides to join the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. It was a last-minute decision right before the deadline and some observers were surprised because initially President Aquino was hesitant. You know? yes. What do you think made him change his mind? I think the acceptance that the best way to, to improve our relationship with China is to really separate okay. the, the trade, the investment angle of our relationship with our territorial uh, question or territorial conflict. Mm -hmm. And the, our entry, then our government's decision to enter, to be part of the AIIB is a big step for us really, to tell not only China but to the rest of the world that the Philippines have filed a complaint <laughs> We're there in The Hague. Right. We have defended ourselves, gave all our arguments there. But at the level of economic, possible economic partnership, possible people-to-people -people, uh, improvement of relationship, the Philippines is here. Okay. We are respecting China and its initiative as something that will be helpful. Mm -hmm. As long as, I believe, and I, I see the government viewing it this way, as long as it, it follows international corporate governance practices. That means it will not be used really by China to, mm -hmm. to, to create or exert more influence on smaller or underdeveloped or developing countries. Okay. But we have to see this as an opportunity whereby a new facility for, for development financing, especially in the area of infrastructure where the Philippines right. needs a lot of help, is a positive step because it mm -hmm. can help us address some of these needs. The idea itself of an Asian financial institution, development institution, focusing on infrastructure, mm -hmm. which is normally the challenge to any developing countries because right. it's very expensive, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a big investment, it, it has a big effect on the national budget with regards to you know competing with social investments on one right. hand. So here comes a facility that I think not only the Philippines can benefit, but can allow other, develop, uh, other developing countries to benefit from, especially, mm -hmm. as I've said, if it's defined as somewhat with a sole objective of improving the infrastructure facilities, improving the investment potentials of countries. 